Good morning, everyone. I thought I would do something a little bit different today and take you through a Sunday in my life because you guys always see what Monday through Friday is like, but never Sunday. Um, today is a little bit of a non-traditional Sunday uh, just because I have a huge assignment to do today. Um, but basically every Sunday I have a ton of homework to do and also some other like housekeeping kind of things to do. So I'm going to show you how I get things done and how I have productive Sundays. My main assignment that I have to do today is an honors essay. I don't obviously advocate for writing essays the day beforehand. I have done some work on this yesterday, but this is basically writing an essay from scratch. Um, in one day um, because for some reason all of the essays that I've done when I spend a ton of time on them I have done worse on than the ones I write the day before they're due I don't understand why um, but that's actually happened where I've gotten worse grades on the ones I've spent weeks writing um, so at this point and because of time's sake I end up writing all of my essays like two days or a day before they're due, uh, which is really great. I'm not too worried either because this isn't due like at the end of the night tonight or something. It's due tomorrow at 2 p.m., which means I have time to work on it tomorrow as well. But I do want to get the at least rough draft completely written, which will be lots of work. So this essay is, um, you have to identify and explain one of Cohen's, um, who is this guy that wrote um, something called a seven monster theses essay, basically. So he came up with seven theses about monsters. And so we have to explain one of the theses. Um, I'm explaining the thesis that the, the thesis that the monster dwells at the gates of difference. And then after you do that, you have to explain how this thesis plays out or illuminates each of the following texts, um, which is the Travels of Sir John Mandeville, Beowulf, a monster pamphlet, which is a pamphlet that came out between like the 15th and 17th centuries about monsters, and then the event of the Salem Witch Trials. We also um, want to compare and contrast these texts with, text with each other, and then optional um, thing to do is to reference additional course text in support of the claims. So right now, um, the work that I have done is identifying and briefly explaining the monster thesis and also going through um, my notes on this thesis and looking at the points of like analysis that I might want to pick apart using the text to support those points of analysis. So now what I need to do is go through each of these texts or like moments and go through and search for all of the, sorry, search for all of the evidence that proves that this thesis for the monster dwells at the gates of difference is playing out. Um, and then I'm going to write that down in a little graph, which I can show you right here. So I'm currently looking, I know I want to find physical proof of monstrosity and historical fears at the time. Um, and then the other stuff will just be other notes that I find. And then I'll be able to build my essay off of these notes and then all of these notes that I've previously taken. All right. So I'm going to do my favorite thing to do when I'm stressed, which is a power hour. So I will be setting the timer for one hour and working on this paper and then I will do today it's going to be a little bit different where after I finish one hour of this I'm going to move on to one hour of something else because I do have other homework and housekeeping things to do then it'll be one more hour of this and an hour of something else hour 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 as you can see it goes back and forth until literally the end of the day um so I'm not going to think about you know, in this hour I need to do this much work because that's just too intimidating for me. I'm just going to work for an hour and see where I can get. And yeah, this is basically a Sunday in my life. I don't always have essays to write every week, but I most certainly always have some big assignments. Um, and especially like weekends like this where Drew came this weekend. 
um, and then I don't get very much done on Saturday, um, then of course I have more work on Sunday. So yes, I'll probably do a Sunday video where I'm not doing like as much work because I've had Saturday, but um, yeah, this is what my life is like. So let's get to work. So I did go a little bit over time, it took me an hour and six minutes, but I went through the entire first reading. So these are all of the notes I have for the travels of Sir John de Mandeville. Still going. And bam. So that is what I did in one hour. Anyway, now it's time for my hour of non-essay work. So I am going to start by removing the sheets from my bed putting on new sheets, and doing some laundry. Very exciting stuff. I have to do two loads today, unfortunately. I've never had to do that yet. But I have sheets and towels and too many clothes. I think now I am going to change into an outfit, wash my face, and fix my hair a little bit. While I am getting ready, I'm also going to listen to the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban audiobook um, just to be extra productive, so maybe I can even finish a book today. Here I was just working on budgeting. So I have a little budget plan and then I was just making all the calculations for everything that I had bought over the week. After this I moved on to creating my meal plan for the week, which is another major part of my Sunday because I also like to go grocery shopping on Sundays. Then I transferred this meal plan into a grocery list on Notion. Cleaning is always a priority on Sundays, so I put away my clean dishes. Now it is time for me to go get my laundry. I just finished clearing out the dishes and there was a giant bug in the sink. I don't know what it was. It had too many legs. I hate... <gasps> oh, maybe it was like some weird kind of centipede or something, but it was thoroughly disgusting and huge and I was so scared of killing it because I'm totally scared of killing bugs. So I like low-key went into my roommate, <laughs> but they were both asleep. Then I got distracted and didn't really finish the story, but basically my roommates were asleep so I had to um, be a big girl and kill the bug myself and I was very scared. <laughs> I was standing with like paper towel next to the sink, like psyching myself out and <laughs> being like, it's gonna attack me. Um, but I did kill it. It's fine. We're all good here. Whew. You know what? I believe in good treatment for animals. I really do. But not animals with that many legs. <laughs> Still gives me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> As you saw, 
I put my stuff in the dryer and I put the vast majority of my stuff in the dryer um, because first of all, all my clothes are pretty old. A lot of them are hand-me-down, second-hand things. And I just don't wear things that would like shrink at this point because they've been washed and dried so many times that they've already shrunk. Um, so the only things that I really hang up to dry are like newer pieces I have or pieces of clothing with odd materials where it would shrink drastically. And yeah, I just kind of put it on like the medium temp and hope for the best. And I really haven't had any issues. So that's what I do because I feel like if I'm gonna dry my clothes, I wanna get my money's worth, you know? So I just try to dry as much as possible. And now those are going in for an hour. The last thing that I'm going to do in this like Sunday part of my routine um, of like cleaning and everything is I disinfect all the major surfaces in my room every week. Now I usually do my phone and my computer like every day, but I don't do my door handles every day and stuff. So I just take a wipe and I wipe down all of my major surfaces. I'm gonna do is just take out my trash okay friends so in that hour we have done quite a lot of the traditional Sunday things that I do and now the hour is ending so I'm going to move on to my next power hour focused on my honors essay once again this time I'm going to be going through Beowulf so very fun very fun stuff um yeah that's actually not fun at all i'm really not looking forward to it but that's okay because it's just one more hour and then after that i will be able to get my groceries which will be a really nice hour break because i bike to get my groceries so i'll get some good exercise in there and um it'll just be nice to go to a different place <laughs> even though it's just to the grocery store but yes every sunday i also get my groceries for the week because I do not use like meal plan money usually um, for my food. That's maybe like a once a week sort of thing that I do. So back to work. Okay, and one hour later, and this is where Beowulf starts. This is the work I have done for Beowulf. And as you can see, I wrote a pretty full paragraph um, which I should be able to incorporate almost directly into my essay. There will be like some things that I need to kind of figure out um, and word better, but I do have like a full paragraph written, which is exciting, um, which means the next time I return to this essay, I will be doing the monster pamphlet. And then after that will be the Salem witch trials. I think I might actually be able to finish the last two in one hour. So that's really exciting. Anyway, now I think I'm going to take probably a two hour break. So in the first hour, I am going to get my groceries. So I've got to bike over to the grocery store, get all of my groceries and head back. And then in the second hour, I am going to work on a different homework assignment. So I'm still doing the pattern of non-homework, homework, non-homework, homework, non-homework, homework. Non -homework, homework. Um, but I just won't be returning to the essay in the second hour. I need to do a different homework assignment for my jazz class. So that is what I will be doing. And because that jazz assignment is due today rather than tomorrow, like the essay is due tomorrow, um, I am going to just sit down and do it and it might be over an hour. I have been doing three hours and 12 minutes so far of work because I did go slightly over on that hour working on Beowulf. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep the timer running just to kind of keep me on track. It makes me feel really motivated to know that I have had three hours and 12 minutes of solid productivity. And before I get my groceries, I just need to pick up my clothing because it should be done in the dryer now. So I'll take you with me to come get groceries, but let's get our clothes from the dryer first. And 
an hour later I have my groceries done. It is now lunchtime, so I'm having the sushi cutter roll, a pumpkin cupcake with maple pecan frosting that I made yesterday with Drew, and I have to say they are really delicious. I'll leave the recipe down below, it's from Nora Cooks, and then an apple with peanut butter. Also, because I've been going all day, I'm going to let myself watch an episode of Gilmore Girls. So I am going to stop my timer now, seeing as that's not really something productive. Okay, now I have gone ahead and set up these string lights. I set them around my window and I love the way they look. So now I have my old string lights from freshman year and then it just melds into these new string lights around my window. Hopefully they stay up. I did a lot of taping, so I'm hoping for the best. Now I am going to fold all of my dry laundry clothes and put them away and also put the sheets on my bed. And then I think I'm going to head to a coffee shop to do more homework and do like three power hours at once maybe or something like that. Um, yeah. I'm just about to head out. I just need to pack my honors homework and other work that I'm bringing with me as well as my laptop and then I'm going to walk to Starbucks and probably get a pumpkin spice latte and sit and do work for a few hours. The good thing is I had a really huge lunch so I probably won't be hungry until later tonight and I might have something light just because my stomach doesn't feel that great right now. It's not like bad, it just, I don't know. I can't even think about food right now, so who knows when we'll next be hungry. Probably at like seven or eight for a late dinner, um, which is perfect because it's 3.45 right now, which means that I'll be able to stay at Starbucks for a long time and not have to like break it up and go eat dinner at like five or something, so yeah. I ended up coming to campus to do my work because I tried to work at a table at Starbucks, but the only empty table was honestly like completely busted. <laughs> you couldn't like put any pressure on the table without it wobbling a ton and I was like there's no way I can work for any extended period of time at this table. So I walked back to campus and sat outside at a table and just did my work there which I found to be much better and I worked on my jazz assignment. This assignment was a virtual class so you had to take the virtual class and then write up the dance notation for three different exercises that were in the class and I honestly really dislike doing these every week because it takes me forever to write out the dance notation because I started dance in college so I don't really know how to write out dance notation in a way that is concise and makes sense so I usually end up just writing a lot um, but you know what I got to use my new pen so I guess that was the highlight I 
am currently in the process of editing my YouTube video. This one is Wednesdays, I finished Tuesdays, and then I have Thursday and Friday. I finished my jazz assignment. I definitely should not be procrastinating my honors essay as much as I am, but at the same time, these have to get up and they're, to me, they're more urgent than the honors essay. Um, yeah, so basically tomorrow I'm gonna have to wake up and do a ton of work on the honors essay and It'll be a struggle to get it done by two, but we're going to make it happen by gosh darn it. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm going to finish doing these videos first. It's like, I feel like I can't focus on the honors essay until I finish these, because I just want to get them done. They're not going by that slowly anyway, and I should be able to get like two solid hours of honors work in yet, which is really good because I can get all of the bulk of the analysis done, which would be, you know, a huge step. I'm not going to actually let myself go to sleep until I finish at least, you know, the analysis of all of the um, stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm really tired. My body doesn't know what it's doing at this point. It's like, I'm tired, but I'm stressed, but there's no end in sight, but I'm alive. Hmm. Sunday vibes. <laughs> the other thing is, you guys probably can tell from my daily like vlogs, I'm not like a big procrastinator. You know, I try to get a lot done in a day, and I try to do a lot of stuff. Um, but this still happens because I just have a lot to do, frankly, and. Also, I have to place importance on what I think is most important, too, and um, sometimes writing an honors essay is not what I place the most importance on. <laughs> but in any case, basically, I'm just really stressed out right now because there are so many things that I need to do, namely the honors essay, but there are other things that I need to do and I need a plan for this week, I need a plan of attack, and I don't have one right now, so it's just kind of stressing me out because there are like small little things I need to do this week that I don't have figured out, and yeah, it's just a lot. But that's okay, that is okay. Okay, so while clips were uploading and everything, I finished Harry Potter and the Prisoner, whoops, and the Prisoner of Azkaban, woohoo. Um, so now I'm just going to finish editing my Friday vlog and then I will be done with that. Okay, my last YouTube video is uploading and while it's uploading, I'm going to take a shower because there is nothing better than climbing into clean sheets after being clean, oof, yes. And a big part of my Sundays um, is also just, you know, taking care of myself. Um, obviously a shower is pretty simple. Sometimes I'll also put like a face mask on or I'll do, you know, something more self-care-y, cut my nails if I need to, things like that. But today, all the self-care I have time for is a shower. And I do that every day, so it's not really like exciting, but it's fine. <laughs> that's what I have time for, that's what we're doing. Here is me post-shower continuing to do some honors essay work. The one thing I did want to mention is that usually on Sundays, one of my highlights is the fact that I get to spend a lot of time making dinner, and I can spend like 45 minutes prepping it and making it look really nice, and I didn't have time to do that today, which is why I just didn't showcase dinner at all because it wasn't exciting, um, but usually on Sundays, I am able to do so. I will maybe film a different Sunday on a different day where I have slightly less homework, but honestly, this is a pretty accurate routine. Um, as much as I try to make my Sundays relaxing, they usually don't turn out that way because I usually have lots of work to do. And that's just the reality of being a double major sometimes. <laughs> and that's okay. Okay, y'all, I've started writing, but I'm just so tired that I don't know how to formulate thoughts. But the great thing is I have... 10 pages of notes and analysis so now i just have to put it together tomorrow but i have all of the information that i now just need to like 
turn into writing. So thankfully, tomorrow isn't about creating any new thoughts. It's just about taking the thoughts I have and putting them into words. So I have a plan of attack for tomorrow. I got done what I wanted to get done for today. And that's what I've got. So yeah, there we go. I am just going to go to the bathroom and then I'm going to set my alarm for tomorrow. I want to wake up at five in the morning to start writing this rough draft. And then I am going to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming with me on this crazy Sunday and I will see you for Monday, which will be no less hectic.